Hey there, so in today's episode we're gonna be talking about how to create a custom smoke or fire or whatever that is with your own particle system or particle emitter in another word um, inside Niagara Fluid so if you haven't started working with the Niagara Fluids yet go to your plugins and type in Fluid Niagara Fluids, make sure this is turned on because this is what we're gonna be working with and um, to let you know that I am working with the um, grid 3D gas simple particle source this is what I'm using right now so let's go ahead and create what we already have so this is like the base Oh, by the way, um, I am changing the scalability to the lowest quality possible because I want to record a video. Or if you are using this in a game, you better go ahead and use the lowest quality possible because, you know, the um, smoke system, the fluid system inside Niagara, it's not really there yet. It's really heavy. It's perform The cost of performance in the game is really high. So... I definitely recommend that you go ahead and use the lowest quality possible. So if I change the, um, let me just go ahead and. So this is the first thing that you'll get when you first create the, uh, the Niagara system. So how we can change this? To do so, we can either add, a, uh, add an emitter from here or we can already create an emitter here and drag that emitter into our Niagara system. So right now we can just go ahead and add an emitter. Probably fountain is good enough because you know fountain always works. So the first thing you have to do to make it work is to go to properties and make sure the sim target is GPU compute sim. Uh, and also it's local space and this determinism is on. Let's see what we have here. So if we turn this one off, this is what we have right now. This is like the base default fountain that you can get. Um, if I change the velocity to something like okay this is more like it um, you can go ahead into your into the gas controls and into the uh, emitter summary for some reason it should show it inside the um it should show it in here but for some reason it doesn't so go ahead into your all tab and in here you can see it particle source and inside the emitter you have the particle source here you can change the emitter name from here so the name is fountain 001 Let's get rid of this one so it doesn't work. Nice. So make sure this is GPU compute sim. Oh, do you know what I forgot? Set fluid source attribute. So you already have the particle source emitter. So go ahead and control C and control V into what you have right now and hit compile and you have it. Yeah, you have it. So it just works just like that. Um, but something that I found really important is in the process property step, these two are really important. They don't talk about it in the uh, Unreal Engine presentation. I just found it myself based on luck. So this is really important. Make sure these two are turned on. Um, and if you want to change it, you can just go ahead and add a probably a curl noise. Maybe a something like 
50 would be good and you can just go ahead in the emitter summary in the simulation tab and maybe I've changed this this is the default value the default value looks better a little bit or maybe you can Dissipation is too much, I'm telling you. Um, one, probably. Three. Yeah. This is more like it. So, we already have something. If you want, you, if you want to, you can go ahead and change everything in here in the simulation tab. Um, they talk about this stuff in the Unreal Engine 5 presentation. Um, so you can just go ahead and learn everything there. I've just tried to explain everything that's not been talked about in that presentation. And that's pretty much it. You can just go ahead and play around with the settings in the set fluids uh, source attribute. You can change the density, you can change the temperature for example. If I want more fire you can just go ahead and crank up the temperature and then I have more uh, fire or if I want more smoke I can just go ahead and get more smoke it's as simple as that really it's just you just have to go ahead and change some variables and so on and that's pretty much it I hope that you enjoyed this video and um, if you did please hit that like button cheers